how safe is for girls? See, SDM College of Ayurveda and Hospital is most uh, you know is designed in such a way that uh, is a very safe environment. Safety of uh, the students, safety of the patients, and safety of the employees are the prime concern of our SDM institution and uh, we have uh, all surveillance, safety surveillance are in place. So we are running the institution for the last 60-70 years, uh, especially Ayurveda and uh, we are time tested. So in case of safety, is a very safe zone for uh, education as well as health. Sir, so all the parents and students are eagerly asking this question. When will the KEA registration and counseling start? Huh, the KEA registration now, you see, double triple C has not started. Once Ministry of Ayush will start uh, the counseling, uh, before counseling, no, they will issue the timelines. And first round, second round, third round, mop up round, stray round. So in that, they will also notify the dates for counselling for the states. So as, as they notify, the state government also start doing the counselling. Before that, every candidate who seeks admission in SDM College of Ayurveda and Hospital Hassan has to register with the KEA. People have some notion, right, there the management quota, NRI quota, and can they get admitted directly in the college? No. We do not do admissions directly. All admissions will be done by the government of Karnataka. Government of India, AA, triple C, do not do admission for a SDM College of Ayurveda. People has the feeling that the all India quota is there and uh, that will be has to be done through double A triple C. So that is only for government institutions and deemed universities, right? And government aided institutions. As SDM College of Ayurveda and Hospital Hassan, Urupi or Bangalore, all are private colleges. And these private college admissions are done only through Karnataka Examination Authority by the government of Karnataka. So let it be very clear. So all admissions will be done through. So whomsoever want to have admission in the LGM colleges of Ayurveda, they have to register with the KEA. Now they have already notified, KEA has notified. The first, uh, no, they have already got uh, registered by the uh, aspirants and uh, second time they have notified and uh, shortly I think they will mention the dates for which they can register. So uh, my suggestion to all candidates is keep ready with all requirements and uh, register when it is notified. So simple as you salute God daily in the morning, as you brush uh, yourself in the morning, you also keep the website open of KEA and the group C for a notification and register yourself. Sir, what are the documents required for KEA counseling? KEA counseling document, what is required is the document uh, stating that you have taken a, a national entrance test, need a, a certificate, needs mass card, what you say, that you have to upload and uh, 12 standard mark sheet and 10 standard mark sheet and domicile it is you claim the LED reservation then uh, uh, domicile certificate or if you claim your caste then the caste certificate so these are based on the, 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 which category you uh, like to opt so what are the facilities available in the college and why a student has to select SDM class why SDM college to be selected? That is the choice of an individual. Uh, we don't say that you come to our college. So we have clear vision. Our college, SDM College of Ayurveda and Hospital Hassan, has set, established under a vision, under the visionary of our Dr. D. D. Nandre. Ayurveda is the wisdom, is the medical heritage of India. So our president, Dr. Devinendra Hegde, always you know, 
felt that Ayurveda is one of the solution to make this India strong and especially the health. So, if one individual has good health and they can become a, he can become an asset for the country. So, Ayurveda has given you no know, preventive aspects, more preventive aspects to maintain the health. So, we have, our president has, OSDM Education Day has set a beautiful campus where we have Ayurveda Hospital. Every campus has around 500 plus uh, beds reserved for Ayurveda. And especially SDM Educational Society has set uh, uh, 1,500 beds especially for Ayurveda and another 1,500 beds for uh, Naturopathy and Yoga. Why people should see? Because we are very rich in clinical medicine. Our president has gained faith in the society by his social service, his contribution to the education, his contribution to the healthcare. So that is, we are rich. So without clinical exposures, without that confidence of treat, treating the patients, one cannot become doctor. So we are rich in that. So that's why people opt SDM, especially Hassan, for the clinical expert, uh, no richness, the expertise. So they 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 opt. That 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 is what SDM has to be. Sir, out of state student can apply for government quota. See, uh, one thing is very clear that all seats are selected by the government. So all seats are government. In this. 25% seats has a reservation policy. There are the for the domestic of Karnataka, where the reservation, you know, all requirements are met. The rest of the seats are all open for any Indian. Any Indian can come. Now you may ask questions, so if he's a foreigner, want to get admission in SDM, has and what they have to do. So we have around 30 plus students from uh, different countries. We have students from US, we have students from uh, no, Japan, we have students from uh, uh, no, different countries, neighbor South countries like uh, Sri Lanka, Nepal, right? So they have to follow different norms. They need not to have uh, uh, taken a neat, neat eligibility. So they have to Either they have to apply to the government of India through their embassy and uh, so there, there is the government of India sponsor them or they can also directly uh, apply to the college when college will write to the government of India and get their uh, note for uh, admission and they have to follow the, the requirement what is uh, mentioned for uh, foreign students. So what is the scope after BMS and can you throw some light on job opportunities for the students? C is a professional course and in the professional course, especially medical professional course. So I will say that care is the scope. So we have around you know, 136 crores of people. So we have minimum number of uh, the health professionals. So there is an abundant opportunity for uh, the Ayurveda practitioners. These days, the Ayurveda awareness is very high. Government of India has introduced a new policy of, you know, uh, one is uh, study in India, and uh, that is for the students, and uh, another is uh, heal by India and heal in India. For uh, heal in India, government also introduced a new visa. This is only available in uh, uh, the whole globe. It's only available in India. This Irish visa. So patients from different countries, they can, across the globe, they come to India for Ayurveda treatment. So this is one of the best profession to serve the common people. And of course, what you gain is the your recognition your respect, your uh, no finance, comforts, all you will get through this uh, uh, profession. 
and of course job employment in the government or private sector ngo sectors even in the defense service all all, all for i i with the professionals this all open so there is the abundant and they can go for research also and uh, uh, he'll buy india they can they can go abroad and practice ayurveda and uh, gain name and fame money 